Honorable Sir to in give his inaugural address. Thank you so much, Sir. So, thank you, Dibya Vani, Madam, for an, a brief introduction, and uh, thank you, Kirtana, Madam, for having a humble beginning. So, first of all, respected Chairman Sri M. Lakshman Reddy, Sir, Executive Director Sri J. Chandrasekhar Yadav, Sir, and uh, Chief Guest of today's program, Dr. M. Salva Kumar, who is a professor in Asia Pacific University of Technology and Innovation from Malaysia and uh, convener of this program, Dr. B. Hari Krishna, who is a professor and HOD of EC department and uh, co-convener, Dr. Anand and uh, Professor Ravi Kumar, uh, other department HODs, <coughs> deans, then the coordinators and uh, international advisory committee member, national advisory committee member, and uh, the faculty members, the students, invited guests, last but not the least, the participant across the world, a very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Santosh Kumar Patro, Principal of St. Martin Engineering College. Wholeheartedly, I would like to welcome you all to this online mega international conference, which is titled as Smart Modernistic in Electronics and Communication Engineering. So, which is scheduled for two days, that is today and tomorrow. At the outset, I would like to extend my appreciation and uh, happiness to HOD of EC, Dr. Hari Krishna and his entire dynamic team who strongly believes instead of talking, let us show our result in the form of work. So that is what I am noticing from the EC department. So my appreciation to all of you, because just like that for before two, two and a half months before we were just thinking of having an international conference because the pandemics are all going on and lockdown is also continued. And it is something like you no know, dream comes into reality just before three months. What it was conceived in our mind and that is become reality. And today it's a moment we all are witnessing the plan which has come to the reality that is the you no know, secret success of the ec department who uh, no, believes work hard and i also like to appreciate his entire dynamic team because it is not that easy to gather so many papers for any international conference i am keep on witnessing many international conferences so i am very happy that no more than 147 means close to 150 papers have been registered for this conference so and you also i understood that there are a lot of parallel sessions have been organized so today and tomorrow you will be all uh, you know conducting and completing around 150 presentations so it is really a great achievement to the organizer and the entire team member who are all have planned for this event and as as uh, no at the outset again i would like to extend my thankfulness and uh, our gratitude to dr selva kumar who is with a small uh, span of information and a notice sir is agreed and given his kind consent to be the chief guest for this program so thank you very much sir for accepting our invitation and taking time from your busy schedule and uh, no you are with us and we are delighted for your presence thank so you, thank you, thank you, so finally i would like to extend uh, my appreciation and congratulation to all the participants who got an opportunity to present their paper and already the convener of this program uh, dr b hari krishna already he has mentioned that no all the selected paper will be given chance to present in the conference proceeding with an isbn number and all the papers also will be forwarded to different international journals where all the papers will be published free of cost so a big round of appreciation and congratulation to all the participants <clears throat> And I would like to inform and mention to all the participants that so you are going to present your paper. So there are two types of comments you will be getting and everybody likes to hear if the comments are positive and appreciated. So if that is the case, it is well and good. So if there are remarks and comments were given that uh, you need to do some changes or further announcement is required. So please take it in a positive way and see that what changes can be made so that it will refine and commit come in the form of a good project or a good product. So that is what the key point you need to keep in mind. And finally, as we are looking into the title, title, title is quite interesting and it is all uh, related to the recent trends because uh, smart modernistic in electronics and communication, uh, that is what it is. So earlier days, <clears throat> we were discussing a concept of 
communication and this communication is not a new word to new word for us so when we were a you no know, student of first year or nowadays in the school also it is all available so communication means okay there will be a source there will be a destination and there will be a connection media and this connection media could be your wire or wireless then we came with an a concept of uh, the source has sent uh, or the sender has sent the information and whether the receiver has received the information or not then it came out in a concept of your uh, this one half duplex full duplex and all this so these are all no way where we were talking about the communication and uh, now this communication technology has grown up in a multifolded way and there are lot of innovations have come into it so beyond innovations because everybody is a part of this communication technology because everybody is using mobile phone everybody is having a valid email id where you can send compose send emails and all these things so so nobody nobody requires any information to understand what is the meaning of communication now what exactly it is more important is to understand about the security aspect of the communication and after this lockdown the moment no in the march 2020 the lockdown was imposed and almost every segment of the people were permitted to work from home and in case you are permitted to work from home then it is very difficult task for the network administrator or the people those who are associated to establish the communication because all these people has to be given a permission to board once the onboard is happened then only you can access to your organization software and you can perform all this work because even in the teaching learning also the classes are going on through online and uh, the paper publications events everything is planned through online so once it is all online forum and all the communication takes place not only in the office premises in fact it is outside of the office premises if that it happens then the security aspect is more important so that is why so there are lot of you know security aspects and algorithms are proposed and uh, there are lot of developments have happened with the firewall i think hope everybody might be aware so no how the electronics played a significant role to development a, to develop a firewall so so this communication aspect it has to be a secured manner so that uh, all the work can be performed in a better environment so with this small note i wish all the participant to take this opportunity in a constructive way and use this opportunity to enhance their skill set and uh, perform more research on communication and the security aspect of it because it is a continuous process and still lot of scope is there for the growth and for the development so finally uh, all the very best to the organizer and for the uh, participant also and uh, thanks for listening to me thanks for the opportunity and have a great day ahead thank you very much have a great day thank you sir thank you so much for your inspirational uh, and uh, motivative uh, speech sir uh, now i request uh, our principal sir to uh, release the conference proceedings so this is the this is the official re release of our conference proceeding and what you are seeing on the screen today uh, now it is a cover page of the conference proceeding where you can see the isbn number what has been uh, assigned to the conference proceeding and the entire conference proceeding will be kept available in the college website and also will be sent to all the participant soon after completion of the entire conference so all these papers will be there so wish you all the very best once again and have a great day thank you sir